evening, everybody. Heroin, needles, and guns. Just a few of the items a suburban police chief has seized in traffic stops. The police chief in Newtown says drug dealing isn't taking place in his community. It's the people passing through who are the problem. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live in Newtown with his efforts to interrupt the drug trade. Hi, Anjanette. Hi, Cammie. You know, we're in Newtown here along State Route 32, and when you drive through here, you see a quiet suburban village, and that's exactly what it is. But the police chief here says 32 is actually a major artery for drug users, and he's trying to cut it off. Tuesday night, Newtown police pulled over a man on State Route 32. Officers said they smelled the strong odor of marijuana. Joel Michael Cornell is now charged with drug trafficking. Newtown's police chief says Cornell had marijuana and wax, a potent form of marijuana's active ingredient, THC. What we were told is they actually ball it up into a little ball and then smoke it. Chief Tom Sinan says on other traffic stops, his officers have confiscated needles, pills, guns, and small amounts of heroin. The big problem we're seeing is heroin. Sinan says 32 is a major thoroughfare for drug users traveling from eastern counties to Cincinnati. When people drive through Newtown, and they see an officer on the side of the road, they're just automatically thinking we're just doing traffic enforcement, we're just being tough on, on motor vehicle laws. It's a sickness. There. But the stepped up traffic enforcement allows officers like Spencer Bischoff to look for people carrying drugs through Newtown. It's just gone out of control. It's almost, a, a, if not a daily, a weekly basis of coming across somebody, if, even if you're not finding something on them, you're still coming across people that admit to heroin use. Chief Sinan says he's actually pulled over people who are shooting up as he's talking to them. His efforts to crack down on drugs are about keeping his community and others safe. What we try to prevent is the residual crimes. And by residual crimes, I mean the burglaries, the thefts, the robberies, the shootings. Now, Chief Sinan says the drug dealing isn't actually going on here, but he says a lot of people stop here on their way home to do drugs. Last week, a woman actually OD'd in the cemetery. They were actually able to bring her back, which is a good thing. He says this is actually a low-crime community, and he hopes his efforts ensure that it stays that way. Reporting live from Newtown, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami. All right, Anjanette, thank you. And Chief Sinan says his department sees eight or nine drug arrests from traffic stops per month.